Thank you very much. Um, firstly, like the Honorable Minister just mentioned, leadership. The President has shown leadership right from the beginning, and that uh, he has made it very clear. The first meeting we had, he directed us that two things. Basically, he wants Nigeria more secured, he wants our production to increase, he wants everywhere to be safe. And that, is, that was the matching order that he gave us. And then, like, working jointly, uh, we've continued to improve on that. And um, uh, the troops are highly, highly motivated because now they've seen direction, actions have been taken. You know, uh, sometimes in the past you make some arrests and before you know it, uh, you don't see anything happening. But now, any arrest that's made, people are being prosecuted, people are being sent to jail. So that has served uh, to encourage troops to want to do more. I want to seize this opportunity to appreciate uh, members of the public for the cooperation they are giving members of the armed forces. We are not where we want to be, but we are moving there and we'll get there definitely. Um, the pressure we're exerting on the terrorists is what people are saying. You know, the trajectory of, um, of, of terrorism is such that it starts from criminality to robbery, moves to terrorism, to insurgency. Now, when you get to the pressure, when they get so much pressure, it now comes down to terrorism, comes down to criminality, and, and that's where we're in now. And that's why you see this issue of banditry, uh, kidnappings, and all that. It is a social issue, and that's what's been addressed. Once you defeat them to such an extent, they can't pose any major threat, they go back into criminality. And that's where you see these aspects of, um, of banditry into kidnapping here and there, and then trying to just cause um, uh, disharmony within the uh, various communities. But we're on top of our game, and working together as a team, we're really getting the very, very right. So I want to appreciate it.